Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Bertram Fiddle, episode 2 of Bleaker Predicament. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through chapter 4 Uncommon Encounterings. Enjoy! Gavin, wretchedly, it's miles from anywhere. No one will find us now. It's getting late. We should make our way to Wretchedly Hall as soon as possible. It's closed and looks rather dejected. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be any trains back to London forever. Excuse me, dusty old lady, when is the next train to London? She's fast asleep. It looks like she's been waiting for quite some time. What a delightful village. Ooh, mind your step, Gavin. Ah, Gavin, look at this ruddy-cheeked young country gent. What's wrong with your nose? What's your name, young sir? Little Waxsmith, the blacksmith's son. What is it that you are doing? Playing Kiki Muck. Kiki Muck, Kiki Muck. Much fun, is it? Oh, really. But sometimes I pretend I'm kicking sausages instead. The poor boy needs something else to absorb his mind. There's not much for a young whippersnapper to play with around here. Hey, sir, I'm looking for Wretchedly Hall. Wretchedly Hall, you say? You're the third one this week. Lord Wretchedly must be very popular. As long as we keep ourselves to ourselves, he don't bother us. Little Waxsmith, stop being so idle. These bellows aren't going very fast. It's no wonder the furnace is cold. The slaughtered lamb. I hope they serve tea. Oh my, a little pony. Ew, it's all slimy. What a curiously doleful beast. That there is a swamp pony. Or bug blooder, as we call them. Also known as a mud trudger. The air is at home in the mud, is it? Of it? Looks like it is pining for the swamp. They love frolicking in the swamp. Can cross it with their eyes closed. Well, well, well. Good day, madam. Could you tell me how to get to Ridgely Hall? You need to cross the swamp of sadfulness. But take care. There are strange things lurking out there. Oh, I'm sure I'll be perfectly fine. I used to be an adventurer. No one who goes up to the house is seen again. They say things have been coming out of the ground. Big things. Unnatural things. Try not to lose your way. All the sheep seem to have disappeared. Looks like you have plenty of wool already. Since the sheep vanished, I have to make wool from cat's whiskers. It's just not the same. Why wouldn't give her a nice clump of sheep's wool? The slaughtered lamb. I hope they serve tea. It's very cold outside. May we come in? Hmm, you seem familiar. You? What on earth are you doing here? I am an entirely innocent traveller, just out explorating the countryside. I can't talk now. Someone may see. I've left you a message in the toilet. Ah, 
a good evening. Not more strangers. Boys getting fed up with you foreign types. Coming in here, drinking my drinks and buying my food. This tin cup makes the ale taste funny. That's not the cup's fault. You serve food. Do you have any hot soup? No. Any tea? You got beer or cheese. Oh, then may I have some cheese, please? No, I just sold the last piece. Have some beer. Be on your way, stranger. Hello, sir. I like your hat. Edwin Gray. Beast hunter, vampire slayer, etc. Quite a resume. What brings you to these parts? Have you heard of the thing that haunts the malls? No? Well, I intend to kill it anyway. I am used to the finer things in life, and I would hardly describe mouldy cheese as fine. Take it away! Mm, this cheese is soft and mouldy. Oh, he has a face like an angry satchel. The name's Doug. I'm a bounty hunter. Ain't nothing good about me. Ooh, bounty hunting. That sounds nice. I travel the world, hunting down things. There's something lurking on those moors, and I'm going to be the one to catch it. What an impressive key! This, this is my special bounty hunting key. Can open any lock. You want to hold it? Go on. Try and touch my key. Say cheese! You cheesed my key. Well, I'll be e damned. Don't look so cheesed off. You got something wrong with you, mister. I'd best brie off. I'm just popping to the lavatory, Gavin. Shan't be long. One should always wash your hands when you go to the toilet. Is that a message? It's a rather large message. Ooh, it's rather chilly in here. Ha! Something is written on it. <gasps> a secret message. Meet me under the apple tree. The water is very hot. It's starting to steam up the mirror. That mysterious stranger has gone. He's left behind a tiny bucket. It's got a hole in the bottom. If you put anything in this broken pail, it would just run away. Poor Magwajat, would ya? I seem to be all tangled up in all these old manacles and I can't seem to get them off. They're terribly uncomfortable. An escaped convict! That's very perceptive of you. But I'm not a bad man. I was arrested for stealing a loaf of bread to feed me family. That ain't such a crime, is it? Admittedly, I did stuff the baker in a barrel and push him down the hill. But it was in a fit of anger. And I truly regret it now. And biting the judge. That was a mistake too. But I'm a reformed character now. If you help me out of these rusty old manacles, I'll help you across the swamp. You won't get across the swamp without my help. Now you take care, sir, and don't tell anyone about old Magwitch. Or I'll tear your heart out and eat it. Oh, 
over here. What's the meaning of all this? Who are you, sir? It's me, Emelina. Emelina? What are you doing here? And why are you in disguise? I'm currently investigating some mysterious happenings on the moors. But that's not important right now. More pressingly, what are you doing out here in the countryside, Bertram? Oh, Emelina, I got arrested for a murdering I did not commit. Ah, yes. I did hear something about that. It wasn't you, was it, Bertram? It certainly was not, Emelina. How could you think such a thing? Of course. But I had to ask. Sometimes people do some crazy things for love. It, what was that? Nothing. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, the day started much like any other. You can skip on a little bit. Oh, pardon me. And as I was leaving Mrs. Dalsworth's house, I saw Jeff the murderer standing over the body of a flower seller. Before I had time to react, he ran off and leapt somewhat incredulously over an impossibly high wall. Then Sherlock turned up and arrested me. I suppose I was standing over a dead body with red ink stains on my hands and it may have looked slightly suspicious. But it wasn't me, Emelina. I promise. Hmm, near the Dullsworth estate, you say? I'm sure Mrs. Dullsworth would have caught it all on her cameras. But why hasn't she told anyone? We need to prove your innocence. Yes, that would be nice. Maybe I can hack into her CCTV system remotely. Fly, Nathaniel, fly! Hold on one moment. Shouldn't take too long. Ah, here it comes now. Look, Bertram, photographs of the murdering. And here is one of you and Jeff. It wasn't you at all, Bertram. Here is your proof, Mr. Fiddle. No one will disbelieve you now. Oh, Emmalina, how can I ever repay you? You should head back to London as soon as you can to clear your name. And then you can catch that dastardly Jeff the murderer yourself. I would love to come with you, but I have some unfinished business here to attend to. I'll tell you all about it one day. Mind how you go. There are some strange goings on out here on the moors. And watch out for Lord Wretchedly. I've heard some rather peculiar stories about him. So long, Mr. Fiddle! A forsaken plank. Never let good wood go to waste, eh? And luckily, it just fits in my pocket. An inconsequential rock formation. Oh, look! A peddling device stuck in the mud. I wonder where that came from. I can't reach it. That peddling machine is stuck deep. It will take a lot of effort to get it out. A bog apple tree. The fruit, like most things in the countryside, is bitter and untrustworthy. Look, I have fashioned a seesaw for you to play on. Look, Father, I'm a marsh hopper. Look at little waxsmith go. Whee, I'm flying. You can plank me later. <laughs> Cora, look at that. Those flames will melt anything now. At last. It's melting. It's melting. Demon Blast. It's full of molten metal, just waiting to be poured into a mold. A makeshift skeleton key. Oh, 
Ooh, thank you, sir. That is much better. And now I'm free to murder ya! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, very funny. I bet you regularly have everyone in stitches. I'm trying to get to Wretchedly Hall, but the way seems quite misleading. You ain't gonna make it through the swamp of sadfulness without a map. Lucky for you, I've got one right here. Feast your eyes on this. All you have to do is follow the path on my tattoo. Be careful though, stray from the path and it's curtains for you. I got it done in prison to make crossing the swamp easy. Okay, so either take a screenshot of this or I have a screenshot on my website that I'm gonna follow myself, um, but you're gonna need it soon. little pony. Off you clop. I've started a chain reaction. Look at it go. Quick Gavin, follow that pony. Ah, you again. Draw a picture. It will last longer. Remember, you must stay on the path. tree looks like a mermaid. has a crazed look in it. Judging by the overgrown state of its fleece, it isn't used to human contact. Mind yourself on those brambles, Gavin. You could snag your jacket. Mmm. At your service. Gavin, build a bramble barrier. I can't just put it in my pocket. It would hop out. Welcome to Wretchedly Hall. <laughs> Dry your bones by my hearth, so to speak. Thank you for your hospitableness, Lord Wretchedly. Oh, not at all, not at all. I'm glad of the company. We seldom get visitors anymore. Since Lady Wretchedly went mad and all the servants disappeared, 
have so few people to talk to. My only companion these past few months has been Professor Scuttleworth, and I have a feeling he won't be round much longer. <laughs> but where are my manners? You haven't come all this way to listen to me whiffle on. Lord Arthwipe has told me all about your situation. He has? But do not fret. I know how these things can happen. We all have our dark sides, don't we? I don't know what Lord Arthwipe has told you, but I am quite innocent. And now I have the proof to prove it. Oh, really? Indeed. Tomorrow we shall return to London and find out who this Jeff the murderer is once and for all. Why, of course you shall, of course. But you must be weary. Tonight you must rest. Allow me to show you to your room. Your room is up here. There will be plenty of time to explore tomorrow. Feel free to treat Wretchedly Hall as your own during your stay. You may go whither and hither, anywhere you please, except for the attic. Don't ever go in the attic. Here is your chamber. I trust it will be to your satisfaction. That's my room. You don't want to go in there. That's Professor Scuttleworth's room. He's dead to the world. Okay, now if you tap on the white dolphin hanging there, he'll tell you a story about it, but it'll kind of mess up the game. You'll have to uh, close it down and load your save again. So I'm not going to do it, um, but if you want, you can do it, and hopefully you won't end up messing up your game. I don't want to risk it right now. Um, so just go inside to your room. Here we are, a nice warm bed for you. Now you two just rest up. Oh, if you hear any noises during the night, it will just be the rats in the walls. Did you hear that? A sort of dreadful scratching. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I am rather sleepy. Suddenly overcome with tiredness. Oh, good morning. You're finally awake. I showed your manservant to the kitchen. He's making tea for you. Well, I'd best be off. I have a rather busy day planned. Stay as long as you want. I don't mind. Thank you, your lordship. But we must get back to London as soon as we can. It's a lovely place. People often find it hard to leave. Gavin, did you clean my jacket? My pockets are empty. It was not me, sir. The photographs! They vanished! Where have they gone? We have a saying in Peru. Never trust a fox that is always smiling. Something strange is going on here, Gavin. Come on, Gavin. Let's get to the bottom of Wretchedly Hall's mysteries. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I'll be back in the next video with Chapter 5. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.